हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अवर चैनल केमिस्ट्री एकेडमी फॉर आईटी जेई एंड नीट आज हम अपना पहला एपिसोड वेदर इन द हैट सीरीज का रिकॉर्ड करने जा रहे हैं आज हम मिलेंगे हमारे एक बहुत ही डियर स्टूडेंट यशवंत वीवीएस हु गॉट ऑल इंडिया रैंक 23 इन आईटी जेई एडवांस 2022 ऑल इंडिया रैंक 13 इन आईटी जेई मेंस he even qualified for nsec 2021 he was a candidate who scored 100 percentile in j mains so with lot of such achievements he is a wonderful person to guide you all basically yashwant andhra pradesh vijayawada se belong karte hain class 7th se lekar 10th tak ki padhai inhone gudiwara se kari 11th aur 12th ke liye he moved to hyderabad and has been with us for the last two years of his preparation let's meet yashwant hello yashwant welcome to our channel first hello, of all uh first of all let me tell you we all are very proud of you you have done extremely well so thank you ma'am i have seen those dps of your whatsapp where you have got lot of medals and certificates before even 10th so tell us something about those like uh, i started je preparation from my 8th grade or something like that mm-hmm. and i used to write olympiads continuously okay uh, those, those nso olympiads yeah yeah the nso so sof so okay. yeah and even uh, inmo and those i wrote okay uh, those were the medals and certificates which i received in those uh, olympiads that's uh, great so you started je preparation from uh, class 8 right yes, till 10th you were in godiwara that yes, is in yes, andhra yes, right and yeah, 11 and yes. 12th hum log ne saath taiyari kari and yeah. uh, we were together then uh, you were the one who scored 100 percentile in mains and a very wonderful rank in advance so what is the difference between the two preparations and how you bridge the gap between the two uh the advance preparation is much more conceptual compared to the je mains preparation Mm-hmm. uh je mains has more like uh, theory bits like directly from ncert those kind of questions like uh, okay. there'll be uh, not much conceptual but the ones which we have to remember okay memory based has more kind of yeah and okay. advance has more kind of uh, conceptual and application type of questions which are uh, much more difficult and in a way like they are conceptual they are very good to solve they feel good to solve that one okay. kind of questions so what so, is your suggestion uh, yeah sorry to interrupt yeah yeah uh, uh, most of the time we prepare for je advanced and the ones which we have to just uh, mains has many kind of uh, memory based questions like the extra mains chapters in those those we study uh, like one month before the je mains exam or so okay rest all the advanced preparation we continue at we go with the flow of the advanced exam and then when je mains come we just study uh, one month before that those one month days. for that right and you also uh, got selected in nscc 2021 i remember with a very good 100 plus score so uh, is what do you suggest to the future uh, students who want to go through similar success route like nscc mains advanced and uh, such a wonderful record Uh, we should always focus on the concept don't focus on doing a lot more uh, problems just first uh, uh, focus on the concept and study the notes which your teachers give you only after the notes is completed go to anything else like the problems okay. or something don't start any problems without completing the notes the notes are very important and always focus on the concept only when you are of... perfect with the concept uh, start uh, doing problems yes and a lot of people assume that for preparing iit and all these competitive exams ncert is nowhere you know uh, like of that league and they suggest that leave ncert is very simple what is your opinion no like uh, ncert even for is advanced. a very important book yeah yes. even for advanced ncert is a very important book like uh, particularly in chemistry 70 to 80% of the questions uh, have the concept covered from ncert at least 70 to 80% okay uh, the ncert is a must read book even if you are preparing only for je advanced it is a must read book and uh, for mains it's it's a sure shot like we must surely read it and even for advanced it is very important we, we must read it 
कितनी बार पढ़ी थी एनसीआर टी बिफोर जे मेन्स एंड एडवांस अप्रोक्सीमेटली जो याद हो एटलीस्ट टू थ्री टाइम्स हाँ मुझे भी ऐसे ही याद है कि करीब करीब थ्री टाइम्स हम लोगों ने एनसीआर टी रिवाइज करी है रिपीटेडली I want all of the future students to know that NCERT is not something जो आप एक बार पढ़ कर ही एग्जाम्स कर लें आप करीब करीब टू टू थ्री जैसे मुझे याद है मैं तुम लोगों से हमेशा कहा करती थी कि इतनी बार पढ़ो कि पेज नंबर भी याद हो जाए सो दैट इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू कम्युनिकेट टू ऑल दैट नेवर एवर अंडर एस्टिमेट यूज ऑफ और इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ एनसीआर टी फॉर दीज एग्जाम्स एंड काफी सारे लोग केमिस्ट्री से डरते हैं What is your opinion? Ki chemistry ya suggestion? Ki chemistry kaise karni chahiye unhe? What is wrong? Why they get so scared of chemistry? Even uh, I before coming to inter first year and second year, I used to be scared of chemistry. But in inter first year and second year, I understood that chemistry is really a very conceptual subject. I used to think that it was uh, a much Cramming. more memory based subject mm-hmm. than it than it actually is. Yes. Uh, so. we must just focus on the concept any subject let it be and particularly like chemistry we must focus on the concept and it helps us very much like when you mm-hmm. focus on the con- concept and you understand it you won't be scared of it anymore okay okay that's uh, great and what is the contribution of chemistry as a whole towards you know uh, ranks like yours like uh, maths and physics everyone like most of the people do maths and physics the one who does chemistry the best gets the best rank yeah that is I what my that perception way. also it even so, saves a lot of time like uh, it takes lesser time than maths and physics and it gives you equal number of marks so that itself is a very good point like it's very important there yes yes and as we have already always discussed ki bahut zyada challenging ya naya isme nahi pucha ja sakta jo bhi hoga wo ha within the scope of the syllabus it is not going to be randomly of the track so it is definitely a very scoring subject anyone can score yeah. wonderfully in this one more thing yeah. that people uh, you know struggle is the time management in the test paper or the time how did you use to manage like what were your uh, conclusions in uh, two year preparation time like uh I tried some exams by giving a bit l- like lesser than required time to chemistry, but it didn't work. Like uh, okay. we lose a lot of silly mistakes, so we should give sufficient amount of time to chemistry. Uh, in my opinion, at least forty to fifty minutes should be given to chemistry. Like some people might think, okay, chemistry is very theoretical, and thirty minutes will be sufficient or so, but that's not true. Like if you are doing mm-hmm. only inorganic chemistry, then thirty minutes might be sufficient. Yes. but when all three uh, chem- uh, parts of chemistry are combined there will be a lot of calculations and lot of conceptual thinking yes. so it let me take to take 40 to 50 minutes to do chemistry and physics i used to do for one hour and math for one hour 10 minutes yes yes, right. yes yes that is in fact a very important point that when all come together then errors aa sakti hai so yeah. we should always give proper 40 to 50 minutes time for chemistry पूरे टू साल की प्रिपरेशन में मैंने हमेशा तुम्हें हमारे इंस्टीट्यूट की जो रैंक्स आई हैं उसमें ऑलमोस्ट एवरी टाइम यू आर इन अंडर फाइव बट स्टिल कभी ना कभी साइकोलॉजी अप एंड डाउन तो होती है सो हाउ डिड यू हैंडल यू नो मॉरली प्लस एंड माइनस एंड व्हाट ऑल यू डिड लाइक द टीचर्स यूज टू मोटिवेट अलॉट वेन वी यूज टू गो डाउन लाइक वेन वी यूज टू गो बी डिप्रेस्ड टीचर्स वी यूज टू कम टू यू वी यूज टू कम टू दीचर्स दैट saying mm-hmm. that we are a bit depressed like we are not doing well and so you guys used to motivate us a lot to perform better like uh, not a problem one or two times it happens we go yes. down uh, you used to motivate us that way right. it used to help a lot and sometimes uh, when like when we were going down it's good to take a break for some time like not much like for uh, maybe one day or so and then continue with the preparation it gives you a fresh a fresh start kind of thing Yes, it feels very good to do it that way. Right, that is that is very correct. Because कभी कभी breaks बहुत जरूरी हो जाते हैं. Continuous three sixty five days, it becomes relatively very tough. Uh, is there any time frame you want to say कि like लोगों को IIT करना है तो twelve hours पढ़ना चाहिए, fourteen hours पढ़ना चाहिए, six hours पढ़ना चाहिए. Is there any time bounding or you have your own take on that? No, like uh, actually. 
people try to study for a lot more time like 10 to 12 hours and so 12 hours 14 hours that way but i think it's sufficient uh, eight hours or so a day but that eight hours should come with full concentration yes some people study for 14 hours but they concentrate only like the full mm -hmm. concentration mm -hmm. comes only for eight hours or so in that time yes if we manage to uh, study only for eight hours that too with full concentration it will be more than enough it will be than very enough. much sufficient yes yes and what is your life now after entering into iit is it like the bed of roses <laughs> or you are cursing all the teachers who used to say ki bas ye ho jaye and then you will be all free and happy as a like long time back one of my student came back to you know fight with me that aapne kaha tha iske baad khatam ho jayega aur ab to mera life aur pareshani ka hai like it's not like a bed of roses and it's uh, not even like uh, like it's almost like a uh, jay pre uh, preparation kind of thing. it is almost just like... a little more just a little more relaxed that's it Little like, more it won't be like a bed of <laughs> Certainly not. As you can see today, yeah. Yashwan seemed to be, you know, all blocked up with a lot of work surrounding him. And uh, just uh, to conclude, I would say that it was very wonderful to, you know, have you in our journey. Would you like to say anything in the end? Like, uh, as always, I would like to thank all my teachers who helped mm -hmm. me with my preparation. Like, the main contribution goes to the teachers. They were the ones who helped me the most. Like without them, I wouldn't be here. I would like ah. to thank you all for the help and support you have given me over these two years. Thank you, Yashwan. Thank you very much. And what was the best working part of us as a teacher uh, in terms of academics that you felt was very good or different? Like uh, the teaching style was very good. And even the assignments, like the combination of the teaching style and assignments was really good. Like the mm -hmm. teaching style is very conceptual. And the assignments given are also like the application of the teaching. They apply, uh, they cover all the concepts of the teaching. Okay. So okay. those would give us complete uh, practice of the subject. Right. Thank you. Thank you to you from both me and Shivanan sir for sparing these 10 minutes with us. And hope to Thank see you. you again after one or two years and talk yes, in a sure. different light. How is the life now? Thank you, yes. Yashwant. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs>